all right so what is going on today youtube we're going to do a little market watch um if you guys have not seen my walk of my market watches before um yeah i use Yu Gi Oh prices because nobody else really uses it everybody uses tcg player and ebay this is the one i use but like when i'm going to look for cards and stuff i use this because i do find cards relatively cheap and stuff like that so let's just hop straight in because uh um, we're going to get this one out of the way don't want to really spend 40 minutes talking about four cards so <clears throat> as we do we're going to start off with the 100 most expensive cards and as you can see there's two cards missing now one card is the illusion ma the magician sh bitch which is like a, over 130 dollars i don't know it's some crazy ass price that's stupid nobody's gonna buy that it's not that fucking good um and then the second is dragonic diagram it's 90 bucks it's not really too much change in the price but as we start off ash and joyce blossom is at uh, a 63 dollars which is crazy i mean that knowing that this card was literally 80 90 bucks when it got released and still a little bit after that and this is still a great card it's not like it's a bad card nobody's playing it it's really a fucking game breaking card you can literally beat your opponent if you use ash blossom at the right moment which is, is pretty it sucks but hey that's what you can't do zodiac barrage is at 40, 38 bucks decent price i mean i believe this is going to keep going down and then when the ban list hits it's going to keep going even further down so i mean if you guys still want to play zodiacs hey the 38 bucks it was 70 when it first came out and you know pretty much after that for a whole six couple i mean not a six months but a whole couple of months after that it was 70 something dollars so hey this is crazy i mean th this is going off the last market watch i did which was uh, a, a, a long time ago these cards were crazy look at cypher and lord omega down to 38 bucks so crazy literally so goddamn crazy this card was literally just 50 dollars, probably like two weeks ago it literally was 50 dollars two weeks ago which is crazy um i don't know what the hell happened but people i, I don't know why people think that like they're not they're, like this card literally had not been reprinted it's the only of its kind. As far as I know, it's not been reprinted. I haven't seen nothing about it being reprinted. It's literally the only one of its kind, the only one of its printing. And the people are just, not, they're not valuing this card no more. I, I don't know why, because this completely just plays around Link monsters and stuff like that. Like the whole Link mechanic, you don't even got to worry about. Like you can literally summon Omega, banish it, and when it comes back, it's a monster. Like so now you open up your link zone again so uh, i don't I, I believe that if you don't have one um it is pretty risky because it is reprint season konami may reprint it we don't know but if you know if you got it i don't know man you definitely should get one at least just in case they don't get reprinted because this card is just eventually going to spike again like it always does every time omega is cheap it gets, just spikes again it never stays cheap for too long but hey, for us zombie players, um, please, yeah, I, I don't mind them make it going down. Because I, I, I want to pick up some more. But hey, uh, the Augusta Emeralds, $35. You can get the um, the gold rare and the uh, the prismatic rare for 25 to 30 bucks. So that's good. Crystal Wing Cinco Dragon, still holding the price of $35 as is a, is a mystery to me. But hey, people got to do what they got to do. I'm not understanding because that card is like, it's confirmed getting a reprint. And you guys still have it at $35, which is crazy. Dimensional Barriers at 31 Man, that is just a high fall from grace from where it used to be. But, hey, it, it's going to be complete obsolete during Link format. It's pretty pointless. It can't stop Links. That's dumb. So you just made a card that literally can stop everything else. It doesn't stop Links. So I, I don't understand Konami. But, hey, Card of Demise is 30 So, hey, if you guys do want to pick up your Card of Demise, they are 30 They were 15 16 long time ago but shot right up to 30 when true dracos came out um i think that's a steady price point for right now until something happens sphere mode is 28 dollars. the card is amazing <laughs> uh pot of desires is at 25 dollars. that is the craziest shit i've literally seen all day um damn 25 fucking dollars i was not ready for that that i'm not really checked the prices lately damn 25 fucking dollars this card used to be 80 90 70 100 shit like that and it's now 25 fucking dollars i don't agree with that i mean part of the wildy 
still held his price after it got reprinted to a super. This shit is just oh man, that's hurtful. Um, Cosmic Cyclones twenty six bucks, uh, fair price. Um, what else? What else do we see? Um, XL. I mean, it's going down. That's good. Dark Lord XL is going down, so maybe it's going to become more affordable and stuff like that. But Book of Secrets is twenty two. Um, Solemn Strike is at twenty one dollars. Damn, that's crazy. Um, Dark Arm Dragon, which is crazy. This is why I do have it highlighted because um, this is literally like if you guys if you guys don't know or don't remember, these are literally like one per case. So uh, not unlimited, but like a first edition Dark Arm Dragon should really like keep up its price, which I don't understand why it doesn't. Um, it should totally awesome. It's twenty dollars, crazy. Uh, what up? Invocation is twenty bucks. Don't understand. I don't understand how this card is still not ten dollars yet. Um, what else? Beals is a very good card, but uh, it's only going to go down. Um, it did have that little spike because you know people realize, okay, well, true Draco, Matt, true Dracos can't get over it, can't do nothing to it. Um, yeah, it's you know, it's Beals, it's still a good ass card. Just you know, a lot of people doesn't play, a lot of people don't play synchros and stuff like that, and then especially with link format, you don't want this to be your only link monster. I mean, not link monster, but your only extra deck monster because you know, you still want to do other shit. So, uh, Bills is cool. I, I just believe it's going to go down. And Vocal, for some reason, is still holding 18 bucks. I mean, I guess we got to... No, the, the reprint came out, so I don't understand why this is holding 18 bucks. That, that's pretty dumb. Um, What else? Skullmeister. That got a reprint, too. It's down to $16. Bullhorn is at 15 Macabre's at $15. Uh, Sanctum's at 15 Uh, What else? Dinkle Second. That, look, like, look, this is what I'm talking about. Part of the Wild is $15. And this is literally like... Four or five years removed if, I, if i'm not mistaken it's like four or five years removed from being in the meta and it's, it is back in the meta now but i'm just saying like it, it that's it's still 15 bucks like desires is already 25 and it's like there's 10 bucks off of this which is crazy um <clears throat> that's what i'm talking about man this this oh man i just love that set so much wonder wands at 15 um trish is at 15 necro stuff is still pretty high uh, max is at thirteen dollars, which is crazy. Considered this was probably like six, six or seven years ago. Um, what else? What else do we got? Ghost Ash Runner Cherries is twelve bucks. Hey, this is a good pickup. I, I would guess this is a good pickup. This is a good fucking pickup. If you guys can get some of those for like ten bucks, eight bucks a piece, you would be doing yourself a a, a service. Like literally, you you'd be doing yourself a service. This card right here is 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 really good. They, they think about it in the upcoming link format. Like if you call a certain link, or like think about this. Listen, since we're only going to be having a couple link monsters upon release, you got this card in your deck. You can literally shut their whole extra deck. I mean, whole link summoning down because it's only a couple of link summoning monsters. Uh, a link summon link monsters. I don't know why I keep saying link summoning monsters. There's only a couple links on link monsters on release. So you go through you go reaper it, they can't play. So that's that's just that's just, that's is awful. And that is the end of the top Mars 100. So now let's go to the 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 purchase statistics since uh May 17th. And if we can get it to load, um, all right. So yeah, this is since the ban list till right now. Let's see what are are the players are spending their money on let's see how long we've been we've been eight minutes so let's hurry up and get through this probably in five so we start off wiseman's chatters now if you guys have been watching vctrfs vctrf rfs um he's been doing market watches for uh i guess investing and a lot of people actually a lot of people picked up on it which i hey i've always been saying this card would be good it is pretty good because don't forget you can just use any monster for a link summon so there you go this is just a free fucking monster you can attack with use the effect with you there's no, there's no restrictions the only thing you can't do a synchro with a card and i believe tribute it or some shit like that yeah let's, let's just go look at it i believe you can you can't synchro i know you can't synchro with it let's see um can i be tributed used for a synchro material so you can still use it for a link you can still use xyz you can, you know, just, you can still do all these things you can't do. So that, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Like he said, his car is going to go up. Actually, let's see how much is the price because 15 for 46. So I'm like, yeah, they're, they're $3 now. They're literally like 99 cent. 
and he pretty much and it's only been printed actually it's been printed more times than one i thought it was a common it's not a common jesus it's only been printed once yeah these these are some definitely it's definitely a good card to pick up i always thought that card was going to be good never had the balls to play it <laughs> but here we go lazuli people are picking up lazuli because brilliant fusion and stuff like that um brilliant fusion is like 10 dollars too which is crazy um lazuli's uh 10 people are still buying blue eyes kaiju slumbers magic cylinders wow that's that's pretty crazy i think people are trying to go play some burn um this is another true draco card i don't know what this one does i think it just popped and negates something chaos max is at seven silver and gold uh it's only been six ding long has been six white stone six oh look the dino miss somebody because they did top people did went out and buy it castell's at six galaxy soldiers at six uh pendulum hole people are buying pendulum holes because of the pendulum deck which is crazy and venus is for link summoning I, i'm i'm just gonna guess that one uh yeah well, negate the pendulum summon if you do shuffle that monster in the deck so yeah people are still scared uh, of pendulum monsters because we do have this last week of uh no actually no it has i think we have about two weeks for june 12th uh until pendulum a link summoning comes out so <clears throat> forbidden child is a very good card definitely pick these up these are relatively cheap uh i'm pretty sure they're bought the like ultra ones or something like that the reason why it's five for 13. so definitely pick up this card i really think about maining it in my spirals card of demise somebody bought five of the, five of these things for 160. damn five ghost tokens and snow rabbits for 65. somebody's picking up play spreaders i mm, wonder what they're playing um dd ghost melody dc diva battle fader okay true king the banisher this card was literally like 99 cents um but nobody was picking them up uh master pendulum the draco slayer four of them solemn strike look at this somebody <laughs> somebody look, look four solemn strikes for two 245 dollars so that's what that's um well how, how we do this how, all right I'm, I'm trying to not to be stupid i think it's around 60 something dollars a piece so i'm thinking they bought these ultimates yeah i think they bought the ultimates but damn that's this gotta hurt that's just gotta hurt cosmic cyclone um mirror force dark somebody's up there actually buying into the you know what i feel so sad for these people because the people who bought this thinking they're gonna actually they might have already got their like shonen jump illusion magicians but that's really gotta suck if you didn't get that because you just bought all this magician shit and you literally can't get the card uh Medion, uh trick clown domain uh G gemini elf i don't understand that if people actually bought ultra polymerization Johnny Mirafort, yeah, that's a card I definitely want to see um, what the price is. Look at Dragonic Diagram, four of them, $334, crazy. Alternative Dragons are pretty cheap. Um, so Blue Eyes are still a decent deck. I don't, uh, I don't, I mean, I, I don't know why it always, it faded, but it was still a good deck. Um, MSTs, Abyss Dwellers, Skullgat, uh, Crobat Joker. Uh, like I said, people are getting ready for the Pendulum. Pendulum Switch was a very good card. Uh, once again, getting ready. Uh, let me see. Wall of Disruption. I don't know what this card does, but we're trying to find out. Uh, it looks like a lot of people went on here and bought, um, uh, not a lot of people, but somebody went on here and bought like a whole dragon deck, which is crazy. Instant Fusion at three. Uh, Photon Thrasher, Dark Magician, The Thing and the Creator. Why are you buying The Thing and the Creator? See, what people buy is the, the weirdest things. Uh, Apex Avion. I mean, I guess you can chalk that up to, um, capital g but you know that was relatively late so i don't know maybe they already had the idea in the mind and stuff like that shared ride wow i haven't seen that card in a minute eternal soul uh which is re wow this card is really cheap this card was uh i think about 20 30 dollars on release um drag alio ophion that's um can you no you can normal summon all right never mind I about to say, look at these. Like somebody's buying a whole fire deck. <laughs> Somebody yeah. literally bought a whole fire deck. That's crazy. Dark Lord Zorado, Superbia, Cubic shit. Oh no, not Cubic shit. Red Eyes Fusion. Um, our Nijitsu, Super. Uh, I thought that said Super Dragon, the Spirit Dragon. Foolish Burial, Union Scramble, Cyber Darks. Okay, that's cool. Um, Saber Sword look like somebody's building a ABCs and yeah, that is the end of it, which is crazy because it's not, not a lot has been purchased 
since um the seventeenth, which is crazy. Now let's see in the last month. Let's let's see what the most been purchased in the last month. The True King Summon Breaker, uh, in Wiseman Chalice. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to Drowning Mill for it. Let's see the the price on this eight fucking bucks, which is crazy. Whoa, we're in fifteen minute territory. All right, let's wrap this up. Uh, eight bucks. That's it. That's 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 actually pretty good. This card. If this card becomes a five dollar card. I suggest go definitely pick those up. Um, Wall of Disruption. What do you do when your opponent declares? Oh, okay, that card really capital. See, look, this one like you can I, you can definitely charge this up to Capital G because look at like he 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 put a replay up featuring this card and all of a sudden everybody you know somebody went out to go buy it, which is completely crazy. But hey, that's the power of Yugi tubers. What does this do? When this card is destroyed, special summon a power type. I don't know what's this for, and I hope that I'm not behind the curve. Um, shared ride. Every time your opponent adds a card, you can draw a card. That's act. That's really. That's a really good card. Uh, I don't know why this card never really popped off. We, we search all the time in every format. I mean, every format we search. And then in the last card is summon breaker. And if your opponent conducts a third summon, or if the turn player conducts a third summon of a monster, it becomes in phase. Jesus Christ! Nineteen has been purchased in the last thirty days. That is uh that is a funny card. That is a very funny fucking card where you can just damn just imagine doing that against a link summoning. Like they literally can't do anything because they have to normal summon, then they have to link summon, and then they can't stay they, they summon anything else at the end of the turn. So that really sucks. So like any link summon over one, like over a link one, you literally can't do because if it's a link two. Then that means you have to summon twice and then link summon. And that becomes your end phase. That fucking sucks. That's a good card. I want to see what it does uh, during link summon or something like that. But yeah, that is the end of the video today. Sorry it was so long. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Uh, looking at the prices and stuff. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to click and add to help support the channel. Thank you very much. And see you tomorrow.